Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching from. It's your friend Vincent again, and this is a follow up study to the previous study we had on Fiddler Everywhere. On the last study, we look at how we can run Fiddler Everywhere to capture network traces for debugging on a Mac OS. And there were some limitations we discovered using Fiddler Everywhere. For example, you can save the trace section or the trace result on your local machine to be transferable to a different local machine, you know, through maybe a USB or through uh, file sharing uh, platforms like OneDrive or, uh, you know, Google Drive. But with Classic Fiddler or the Fiddler Classic, which only runs on Windows machine, you can do that. So let's look at how we can go ahead and download the classic fiddler and how we can uh, use it to reproduce an issue to for debugging and how we can also you know save the session and of course send it across through let's say via email or OneDrive or Google Drive. So from your favorite browser, search fiddler and uh, make sure you are on the right page. Telewit.com that should be the correct URL. So once you're there, you see the Fiddler Classic, go ahead and click on this. This only works on the Windows machine. You can click on try for free. So once you click on try for free to ask you how you plan to use Fiddler, go ahead and select uh, the reason you want to use Fiddler, put in your email address, put in your country, accept the Fiddler end user license agreement, and click on download for Windows. Complete the verification check right here. Once you have done that, Fiddler Classic will start downloading. So go ahead and save that on your favorite folder. And once you have done that, you can click on, double click on the file. I already have it is installed. So if you just download it, click on save, double click on the file to start the installation. Follow the prompt and once the prompt is completed, you can go ahead and open the Classic Fiddler. So I'm going to close this and I'm going to open the classic filler, which I already have installed. So this is what the interface looks like when you open it. Uh, so some things we need to check to make sure they're in place is we need to make sure that when we go to file, we have capture traffic enabled. And also when we go to tools and options, make sure you have on the HTTPS that you have the decrypt HTTP FTA traffic also enabled. This you know, allows the HTTP responses to be uh, more viewable in, from, you know, from someone else's end. So once you have these two things in place, you can start uh, reproducing an issue you are having. So to, before I start, I'm going to remove all the whole sessions here by clicking on the uh, S icon here and I can click on remove all. I'll go ahead and open Outlook. So once you open application, you can see that traffic, the you know, HTTP responses protocols have been captured automatically. So if you are having an issue, you know, within Outlook or within any other application like say Microsoft Teams or any other application area, you can go ahead and reproduce the issue you are having. And you know, by the time you reproduce the issue, the the responses will be captured wherever there was a, an issue along the way, it will also be captured. And once you have all these enabled or captured, you can go ahead and close the application. You can go back to uh, Fiddler. When you go to File, you see an option called Save. Click on that and click on Save All Sessions. So this will save as a normal file. I'm uh, just going to put this on my desktop. And I will give it a name. So this will save as a .saz file. I'll just go and click on save. And I can, of course, close my Fiddler because I'm done capturing the network traces. And I can save this file. I can, you know, send this file to someone else. I can, 
move this file around from you know every means of moving file so i'm just going to use an example of like, i want to send this file to a support engineer after i must have captured uh the traces so i can you know send a new email send it to, to this engineer And of course, I can just go ahead and click on insert, click on attach file, browse from this PC. I can go to my download and I can click on the Outlook Network Trace and I can click on open. And this will definitely attach the file right here. So when I do this, I can go ahead and you know sign this. And the recipient will receive this network trace and you know can open it from their end and can debug it from the end to find out what the issue was that i was having so this is basically how you can use the classic fiddler uh, on a day-to-day -day basis when you want to debug uh, an application or find out what the issue is so the classic fiddler actually has no limitation and is also be absolutely free to use but you know this can only be used on the windows machine uh, if you want to run network traces for debugging uh, on a mac or S, you need to use the fiddler everywhere which i already explained on my previous video thank you so much for your time and to have a great day